Today, loads of fantastic foods awaits us. But first up is an awesome Harry Potter tour, right after this nice breakfast. I'm very excited because today we're going to do a Harry Potter walk through Edinburgh. Really curious what spots it will take us. We met up with the group and our guide at a meeting point and got sorted into our houses. Stay tuned for some crazy photos at the end. The guide is super kind and not only very knowledgeable about the Harry Potter universe, but also about the city. Did you know there used to be a lake at the place where the train station is right now? All sewers ended up in the lake, so it must have smelled incredibly bad. Like an open air sewer. Ugh. Since a lot of Harry Potter writing was done here, people claim that buildings around Edinburgh formed the inspiration for buildings in the Harry Potter books. Sometimes with very little evidence, we're gonna claim this is the inspiration for Gringotts. This street looks a bit like Diagon Alley. It has inspired several entrepreneurs to start their Harry Potter shops here. So behind me we have Enchanted Galaxy. And on the other side we have Museum Context, both stuck to the brim with Harry Potter memorabilia. That's often quite a line, so make sure you arrive early or late. We did some nice shopping and the tour ended with a fun do-it-yourself magic trick. We just finished the Harry Potter tour and we're now going to do a street food tour. First stop, the Mexican one here. El <laughs> Cartel. This is really cool. The quesadillas were a bit too stuffed with cheese to my taste, but were pretty much okay. The tacos, however, they were great at this place. I ate them before we could film them. <laughs> Next up is a takeaway place a colleague recommended to me. Unfortunately, the pulled pork sandwich was sold out. We were pretty late in the afternoon, so be on time for lunch. Anyway, we ordered a box instead. This is really, really good. My colleague was so right about this. Time to head out to some bigger areas. Food courts. First one we visited is the Edinburgh Street Food Court. There was a pretty loud music inside, so we ended up going outside where there was this really good looking slam dog food truck. I'll be trying out this from the stand behind me. And it's something with dough and sauce and stuff. Mmm, this is really good. With some kind of yogurt sauce and barbecue sauce. Also a bit crunchy. I really like this Indian place and the atmosphere of this food court. There's still more to discover, so let's go to the next one. On our way to the next food court, we found this really nice Japanese food truck. We couldn't resist that. Chicken karage. With the yaki sauce. Super crunchy and delicious. Warm. We are now at the Bunny and Wild food court. Let's see what they've got to offer. First layer is pancake, then you've got cheesecake, this is cheesecake with caramel and chocolate sauce. And then you've got crumbs or something and strawberries and merengue. It's so good. That'll be it for our food tour. First stop, the Mexican one here. It's an improvised street food tour, so we're just gonna eat everything we see. It's a seafood diet. We see food, we eat it. Also a bit crunchy. 